Father John Paul SDB, we are now in the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we continue our journey in deepening our understanding of what is discipleship according to St. Mark. Our Gospel for today is taken from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verse 17 to 30, wherein we're going to encounter a young man approaching Jesus and asking him, Lord, anong dapat kong gawin upang ako'y maligtas? And the Lord answered him, You just have to follow the commandments of the Lord. And the young man said, Lord, I've been doing that since I was a child. And the Lord approached him and let his love be felt by this young man and said to him, May kulang pa. Get everything that you have and sell it and give it to the poor. The sad story here is that the young man left so sad because he is not able to let go all his possession and give it to the poor as the Lord is asking him to do. Ano po tinuturo sa atin ng ating Panginoon sa Ibanghelyong ito? Ang tinuturo po sa atin is if you want to be a disciple, if you really want to follow the Lord and gain the salvation that you are desiring, you should be able to develop the love and care for your brothers and sisters. Hindi naman inihiling ng Panginoon na ibenta mo lahat ng iyong ari-arian at ibigay ito sa mga mahihirap. No, He is just asking you that these things that you possess should not be a barrier for you not to see the needs of others because a Christian, a disciple, is a person for others who is willing to give his life and his service and his ability for the good of others. Ano yung mga talents mo? Ano yung mga kakayanan mo? That is given to you, meant to be shared to your brothers and sisters. And that is the thing that the Lord is asking us to do. If you want to gain salvation, stop just thinking about yourself. Thinking, think of what you can do for the service of others because that is the example that the Lord Jesus has taught, has given to each and every one of us. He was able to give His whole life for the service of others, for the good of others as His expression of His love to the Father. Remember that the Ten Commandments is a guide. Anong guide ito? Guide how we're going to love our God, ourselves, and our brothers and sisters. The challenge is very clear at this celebration of ours. Meron ba tayong puso para sa ating kapwa? Bukas pa ang ating mga mata upang makita ang mga pangangailangan ng ating kapwa. Again, we don't have to give material things, maybe our talents, our time, we can give it to them as a service, as an expression of our love of God. Kung kaya nga po, ang ganda po ng ating first reading, take her from the Book of Wisdom. We can let go of everything and we only choose one thing and that is the Lord. The Lord is the reason why we are doing all these things. Kaya nga sinabi sa ating dulong ibanghelyo, do all these things, all the service that you are doing in the name of the Lord as our expression of our love to the Father. And that expression, that attitude of an open heart and eyes to the needs of others will bring us to salvation. Kasi yun po ang nangyari sa atin. Bukas ang puso ng Diyos at kanyang mga mata sa pangangailangan natin. And because He was able to give His service, His love, we were able to attain salvation. So my dear friends, katulad ni Jesus, lumapit siya sa young man and let His love be felt by this person. I think that is the challenge that we are being asked to fulfill. Develop a heart for the service of others. Open your eyes to the needs of your brothers and sisters, not maybe of the material things, but mere presence, your time, your talent, your prayers is enough for them to feel that they are being loved by someone. And that is you, as a disciple of Christ, as a Christian. So once again, as we go deeper and deeper in our understanding of following Christ, let us beg the Lord, Lord, open our eyes. Touch our hearts so that we will be able to see and feel the needs of others and give us the strength and the courage to
to give what we can give for them. So once again, my dear friends, God bless us all.